this is turning into a problem for young players in the NHL. So recently, Shane Wright got sent down to the AHL after having a tough start to his NHL career. And honestly, it may be exactly what he needed. With two goals in two games since being sent down, it got me thinking about the expectations that are currently being set for high-end prospects. There's no doubt that the game has drastically changed in the last few years. Generational talents have been drafted, the league is getting younger, and it seems like more and more players can jump right into the NHL after being drafted. But as we've seen with players like Shane Wright, success doesn't always come right away. If you're a top 10 draft pick, the expectation among fans and even some franchises has become that you should have an impact in your first or second year in the NHL. The players who can make an immediate impact are generational talents and outliers. This of course presents a problem or an obstacle for future players in this league. And how this obstacle will be handled will either make or break the player's career. This isn't a new issue. There's always been pressure being a high draft pick. Now that the league is inherently younger and faster, this development process is accelerated and it may not be good for most players. Development and understanding the game takes time. I use Shane Wright as an example because there's a great player there waiting. You don't get granted exceptional status and become one of the most coveted prospects for years without having the talent. He just needs time to develop both on and off the ice. Not having to worry about making a mistake in the six to eight minutes he was playing each night at the beginning of the season will also help his confidence too. From Wright's standpoint, Point and the drama that happened at the draft, I think the best approach for him is to just understand that this whole thing is a process. His process may look a lot different from Slavkovsky's or other players his age. However, the solution to this comes down to the franchise and where they're at in their development system. When a player is struggling or isn't ready to face NHL competition, it's on the organization to understand how to effectively manage or coach that player to eventual success. Of course, this is a two-way street. The player needs to be willing to grow and the organization has to be willing to be patient and potentially sacrifice wins for the betterment of the franchise long term. Take Jack Hughes who had a miserable rookie season putting up only 21 points in 61 games. People were quick to label him a bust or not as good as his projections but New Jersey stayed patient, helped him develop his game away from the puck and he flourished into the player he is today. Anyways let me know what you think about the whole Shane Wright situation. I thought I'd make this quick video because there's no games on in the NHL yesterday. Let me know if you think Seattle made the right decision by sending him down or if you believe they should have gave him more minutes with the NHL squad. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and if you like the video, make sure you subscribe for more hockey breakdowns just like this.